Um, my question is, um, I'm curious to see if you still have the signed J.D. Salinger letter that uh, Nicholas Cage got you, um, and if you ever really thought that he would ever find it. No, I returned that to him. Wow, you did? Yeah, when we were kids, so yeah. No, I never thought he'd get it, and it scared me, because the idea was we really didn't know each other, and he was like, I met him in Chris, uh, Crispin Glover in a restaurant, and Crispin said, I'm going to marry you. And Nick said, no, I'm going to marry you. And Nick said, give me a list of 10 things, like a quest, and I'll get all these things, and then you'll marry me. So I wrote all these things that I thought were impossible, getting J.D. Salinger's autograph, you know, a, a hill tribe wedding costume, steal me a Bob's Big Boy statue, like all of these things. I was laughing, a black orchid, all these things. And then one by one, they started coming to me. And we were just kids, you know, we were, I was 19. And so then he was like, and you're going to marry me soon. I was like, no, man, we've never even gone on a date. Let's slow it That's down. That's incredible, uh, though. Yeah. I mean, that he was able to procure those. Yeah, I know. And I then know. did you ever date? Then we dated. And then we broke up. It was just too fast and too much for me at that time. I was 19. And then many years went by. We were friendly. And then I called him and said, OK, I'm ready to get married. And I was 27, and we hadn't slept together for eight years till our wedding night. Yeah. Wow. It's very romantic. It is. It was very romantic. Wow.